Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Ted Cruz just gave Trump a big unexpected birthday gift that's huge for America and libs will hate. President Trump got a nice early birthday present from Ted Cruz. It was something unexpected from the former competitor who tried to take down Trump for the top spot on the Republican card of the 2016 election. Cruz wasn't successful in outing Trump to square up against Hillary Clinton, but Cruz took his defeat with his head held high. He's not sending praise towards Trump for multiple wins that Donald has accomplished. The DCNF reported that Cruz was talking at the 2018 Road to Majority Conference and that's when he started speaking about Trump's victories in terms of faith, family, and life. Ted Cruz has had his fair share of victories, limelight, and media coverage, but it was very unexpected to see his conversation go from one topic over to President Trump and the accomplishments. There are some people who favor Cruz over Trump, or Trump over Cruz, and some people who like both. Trump supporters likely found it wonderful that the Texas senator was speaking so highly of President Trump and his administration. That type of support is important because accomplishments should be acknowledged, regardless of which party people represent. In this case, it's one top Republican praising the president and that's how it should be. Acknowledgement of accomplishments is important and supportive and Ted Cruz just showed what he's capable of. The DCNF wrote. Republican Senator Ted Cruz of Texas praised the Trump administration Thursday for seven major victories he said it accomplished for faith, for family, for the values that we share. Cruz made the remarks at the 2018 Road to Majority Conference hosted by the Faith and Freedom Coalition. He lauded the current presidential administration for making significant advances for the protection of religious liberty, individual rights concerning education and family, the defense of the unborn and foreign policy that reversed Obama-era deals. Let's start with number one, judges, Cruz said. Principled, constitutionalist judges. Cruz mentioned the Trump administration's victory concerning the nation's courts with the appointment of Justice Neil Gorsuch, as well as the Supreme Court's recent ruling in the Colorado Bakery case. The so-called Colorado Civil Rights Commission demonstrated an antipathy, an animosity to faith that was visceral, Cruz said. The Supreme Court, however, ruled that you cannot discriminate against religious faith, Cruz said. Instead of ruling they must be forced to violate their consciences. That is not narrow, Cruz added. That is a bedrock principle of our First Amendment and of our nation. A second victory concerns life, Cruz continued, lauding the Trump administration's return of the Mexico City rules, which prevented the U.S. from providing foreign aid to fund abortions in other countries. Other facets of the administration's victory for life, according to Cruz, include the new Health and Human Services rules preventing tax funding for health clinics that provide abortions, as well as the dismissal of the litigation against the Little Sisters of the Poor and the repeal of the abhorrent so-called contraceptive mandate in Obamacare. Here's a really good rule of thumb, Cruz said. If you're litigating against nuns, you've probably done something wrong. It's a wonderfully reliable checklist. The third victory for Cruz was the historic tax cut Congress passed in December which he said provided more money for the majority of American citizens by cutting taxes on small businesses, cutting taxes on farmers, cutting taxes on families. Cruz then advocated for the implementation of a flat tax and declared Americans should abolish the IRS. The Trump administration scored a fourth victory, according to Cruz, with the repeal of the Obamacare individual mandate. He acknowledged, however, that the repeal of the Affordable Care Act was the Republican Party's biggest unkept promise and urged the party to keep fighting for that outcome. Related, Trump brings in 500 days in office. The final three victories Cruz said the Trump administration achieved for the nation and its values were the passage of school choice legislation, Trump's decision to move the U.S. Embassy in Israel to Jerusalem and Trump's right decision to withdraw from the disastrous Obama-Iran nuclear deal. Cruz listed off seven major victories that he seemed to appreciate. If he finds them to be worthy of mentioning and supporting, then many Americans might feel the same way, especially if the victories are beneficial to as many people as possible. Trump and his team have constantly worked hard towards making better decisions that put America first. Some of Trump's critics have bashed him with a barrage of babbling nonsense, but he and his team pushed through the generic mess created by the mainstream media and those who despise him. Some of Trump's biggest critics seem to spend too much time being part of the problem instead of joining forces to become part of the solution. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.